and it's a good start this time, and Parker went into his side first point, Chase on this side, Chase and Parker, Chase in the lead, halfway down, he's still Chase and Parker, Gavin and Chip coming up to challenge, and they hold the ball, Lucy coming through, and he's Chase, and Lucy coming through the wind, and then Chip on the side, where he is the first man, I wouldn't like to split him in the third, but he's definitely first, West Germany in the shape of winning Chip, second, either Chase or Parker, I couldn't split him, Ron Jones, and this time they're well away, and it's Ron Jones and they have the Hebbard, Hebbard, but Darren Jones goes beautifully, and in the line too, halfway mark, it's Darren Jones leading for mid drive, what a surprise, Darren Jones in the line coming up to Ron Jones on the line, Ron Jones for the muscle, and it's Darren Jones from Hebbard, third was uh, in the line, Darren Jones rather from in the line, third is Hebbard, and Ron Jones. Here is the Jutta Heiner, the daughter of a millionaire and the European 200 metre champion. And there's Rand, well leading and nothing. It looks like a clean victory for Great Britain. Looks like maximum points. And there goes Rand over the last purple. And well clear. And Pat Nutting come up in first Rand. Second Nutting. I want to tie for third place between Sturk and Heiner. Maximum points for Great Britain. Eight and three. He's done it. And he's getting four from the crowd. So very important action. And he's through. And the time at the moment is 28 minutes. 38. He's got now uh, 60 metres to go, and the crowd's rising to him, and the official's certainly going to do it. The time, 28 minutes, 48, 49, 50, 51, he's done it, the fastest ever, 10,000 metres run by any British athlete ever. Fourth time, three attempts to move in yesterday failed because of the efforts of the mob, but this time, 50 state troopers formed a ring around the front of the house and held fast. Mr. and Mrs. Baker led the way in as 14 clergymen stood on the front lawn to calm the crowd. During the hot, humid afternoon, there were several outbreaks of trouble. One started when four carloads of state troopers pulled up. A man leaped out of the crowd and began pounding on the trooper's car. When police grabbed him, the crowd threw eggs. The man was placed in a patrol car and handcuffed, but somehow managed to escape. Periodically, the mob turned its attention on newsmen and smashed some cameras. Neighbors have been using an old argument by claiming their property values will decline with the advent of a Negro family, and they've charged the Bakers with being blockbusters for the NAACP. Last night, vandals got into the Baker house and tore apart fixtures and broke a hot water heater. Tonight, a heavier police guard is due to prevent further harm to the house or to the...